everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet a stitch that has been called the Sweet Stitch. And it's the pattern that you can see here. It, uh, it looks a lot like a V stitch, but it has a little bit of an extension to it that is made with a front post V stitch. So this is the front of it here. It is quite squishy. It has a nice stretch to it. It's an open work. If you turn it over, you have these little ridges in that here. It's also very pretty on this side. So this is the sweet stitch. Thank you so much for joining me. Today for the tutorial, I'll be using the Karen Times Pantone yarn by Yarn Inspirations, as well as a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. You can find links for both of these items in the description of this video. There you will also find a link for the free written instructions for this sweet stitch as well. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe and uh, let's grab our hooks and yarn and learn how to crochet the sweet stitch. Our sweet stitch today is worked in rows. So you're going to start by making your slip knot and for this stitch, you're going to need a chain multiple of three stitches. So today I'm going to start by chaining 21. First thing you're going to do for row one is you're going to skip the first three chains, one, two, three, and into that next stitch, you're going to work a V stitch. Your V stitch is going to be a double crochet, chain one, and then double crochet back into that same stitch. That is your V stitch. Skip the next two chains, one, two, and work a V stitch into the next stitch. Double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Skip the next two chains, V stitch into the next. Skip the next two chains, and V stitch into the next. When you come to your final stitch, or I guess your final two stitches, you're going to skip the next stitch and double crochet into the final stitch. And that brings you to the end of row one. You can chain two and turn your work. For row two, you're going to skip that first double crochet. Your chain two is going to count as a double crochet stitch. So skip that first double crochet and around the post of the next double crochet stitch, work a front post double crochet. So to work a front post, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook around the post of the next stitch working from right around back and coming out left yarn over draw your loop through yarn over pull through two and yarn over and pull through two chain one and then you're going to work another front post double crochet stitch so yarn over insert your hook around the post from right to left yarn over draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Front post double crochet around the next stitch, chain one, and front post double crochet around the next. So essentially you're working 
uh, front post double crochet V stitches. Front post double around the next stitch, chain one, and front post double crochet around the next. And repeat that all the way across to your final stitch where you will work a double crochet into the top of uh, your starting chain two there. There's my final V stitch and then a double crochet into the top of my turning chain. That brings you to the end of your row two. You're going to chain two and turn your work. You're now going to continue working V stitches, but this time you're going to work those V stitches into the chain one spaces. So yarn over, work into the next chain one space, work a V stitch, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Into the next chain one space, work a v-stitch and you're going to repeat that all the way across. So this design is going to work up quite quickly for you. I'd love to hear what you would make with it in the comments of this video. And when you come to your final stitch, work a double crochet into the top of your turning chain. Now for the rest of this pattern, you are simply going to repeat your rows two and your rows three. So you chain two, turn your work. Your row two was your front post V stitch and your row three was your V stitches worked into that chain one space. And that's all there is to working this sweet stitch. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, once again don't forget to subscribe and until next time happy crocheting. Bye.